And without further ado, I'm extremely honored to present our 2014 Young Professional Award recipient is Pearl Chang Isao. And I'm sure she's wearing a new outfit. Uh, really overwhelming. Um, gosh, I just want to say thank you so much to Todd, his incredible leadership, his awesome team, um, the great work that the Greater Phoenix Chamber does for our community and to Cigna for um, sponsoring this award. And mostly thank you to bring together such an incredible group of women for acknowledging the amazing women that we have in our community. Um, and I especially want to shout out um, my fellow uh, co-finalists, Megan Cox and Sydney Peck, who are women I admire so, so much. Um, so con congratulations to them, and, and thank you for, uh, for this, for this acknowledgement. Um, this award means so much to me, mostly because of its emphasis on dedication to the community. And we have incredible communities across our state that are full of fantastic people and children with so much potential, so much potential. And I believe that the key to unlocking that potential for children is making sure that every single one of them has access to a world-class education. And consider this, there about About three decades ago, only 20% of our high school graduates had to get a college degree or career training to get a good job. And today, that number is over 60%. The Commerce Authority shares that almost 90% of high growth, high wage jobs, the kinds of jobs that we want for our kids, are going to require post-secondary education. That means that high school can no longer be the finish line for any child. Yet in Arizona, over half of our high school graduates don't qualify for an Arizona university. We've got to change that. That's got to change. And the, <laughs> and the incredible news that gives me so much hope is that we've got amazing examples of education and, and kids that are doing well all over the state. And just last year, you may not know, one of our uh, large urban high school districts, Glendale Union, serving kids in the urban core, 15,000 majority low-income students, won the national award for having the highest number of kids passing AP exams of any district in the country, right here in our backyard. So what I, what I think that shows is that it's possible. You know, it doesn't have to be this way. And we can work together to change that. And the change, it starts with me and you. Um, and, and, and the good news is that we can change right from, we can lead that change right from where we are. You know, it starts with us learning more about the issues. It starts with each of us being willing to get our social networks involved in supporting our neighborhood schools. It starts with using your vote on November 4th to support issues and candidates who support education. As the daughter of two Taiwanese immigrants, um, I've had the privilege of seeing the American dream in action. I know that it is possible with a good education and hard work to become anything you want to be in life. Uh, my father came to this country as a postdoctorate student. Uh, a kind professor took him in at the electrical engineering department at UCLA. Today, 30 years later, he serves as the faculty chair of that entire department. For both my father and for me, education has changed our lives. And there's nothing more that I want than for my own two children to have that every opportunity and every joy in their future. But you know what? Every child deserves that future. So let's work together to make education Arizona's most urgent priority, and let's make Arizona a world-class place to live. Thank you so much again to the Phoenix Chamber um, for this award, for this acknowledgement. I want to thank my awesome, hardworking team at Expect More Arizona. 
They um, are my role models and my inspiration, and I appreciate them so much. And I want to thank my mom. <laughs> thank my mom and my husband for their constant love and support and um, thank you to all the incredible women in our community for all you do and for being role models to me. Thank you.